Hello my dear friends. In this video we are going to fix this error that says your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. This is popularly known as blue screen error. Most of the time you get a stop code associated with this and hence it is also called a stop error. The stop code may differ in your case but the root cause and the potential solutions are mostly same. Before we jump into the solutions let's quickly understand the root cause. Basically, recent hardware and software changes causes your device to shut down or restart unexpectedly with this error. With no further delay, let's get into solutions. Solution 1. Remove incompatible hardware. Turn off your PC. If you have recently added any new hardware or updated driver or settings for any of your existing hardware, please unplug that particular hardware from your computer. If you are not very sure, then please unplug all external devices those are not really needed for your basic functionality. Preferably you can just start your PC only with mouse and keyboard. Please see if your PC works fine. Later you can turn off PC, add the next hardware, and turn on. Repeat these steps, till you find out the problematic hardware. Solution 2. Get into safe mode and uninstall recent changes. To enter safe mode, you need to first get into Windows Recovery. In middle of boot process, soon you see your Windows logo, please press and hold power key. This will force turn off your PC. Turn on and repeat the same process again. At the third restart, allow your device to fully restart, do not interrupt. You should enter this screen, which is called Windows Recovery Environment. Now that you are in Windows Recovery, from here you need to get into safe mode. Select Advanced Options. Select Troubleshoot. Advanced Options. Startup Settings. Restart. After your device restarts, you'll see a list of options. Select Option 5 from the list or press F5 for safe mode. Once you are in safe mode, please go to Control Panel. Open Uninstall Program. Please sort by installed date. Uninstall recently installed program that you think is problematic. Select View Installed Updates. Sort by installed date. Uninstall recently installed updates that you think is problematic. Right click on Start. Go to Device Manager. Right click on the driver that you think is problematic. Go to Properties. Choose Driver. Select Rollback Driver. If Rollback does not work, you can even try Uninstall or Disable options over here. Over here, the Events tab is very useful, it could tell you if there are any recent driver changes. Search and open Advanced System Settings. Select Settings under Startup and Recovery. Uncheck Automatic Restart. Click OK and close these windows. Now, simply restart your device to exit safe mode. Solution 3. Windows Recovery Options. Follow the initial steps in Solution 2 till you reach this Windows Recovery screen. Over here you have bunch of recovery options, especially Startup Repair and System Restore. Please try them all. If you feel that recent update is causing this issue, you can even try this Uninstall Updates option. Solution 4. Windows Recovery Options, Using Windows Installation Media. 
If you do not have Windows installation media, please create a one from another working PC. To do this, please go to this web page. Download this tool. Please execute this exe and follow the on-screen instructions. You should now have a Windows 10 bootable DVD or USB installation media. Insert the same and reboot your PC. Be alert, on your initial logo screen you should see your option for boot menu, it will usually be F12. Please press F12. Choose your OS installation media. Press any key. Click Next. Select Repair your computer. You should get Windows Recovery options. Please try all these options one by one, especially Startup Repair, System Restore, and Uninstall Updates. Solution 5. Backup your data and reinstall Windows. If you can access your PC intermittently, please backup important files to pendrive, external hard drive, or even to a free cloud storage service such as Google Drive. If you cannot access your PC, then use another working PC and create any lightweight Linux Live USB drive. Boot from Linux USB drive and backup your important files. Now boot from Windows installation media and install fresh Windows operating system. I hope one of these solutions worked for you, please feel free to share your comments I'll definitely respond to you. Also please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.